more than a week after a red line train ran off the tracks near JFK UMass. Commuters are still seeing red, and plenty of delays as well. And of course, this was just the latest in a string of accidents on the T, which is why Mayor Marty Walsh is filing a bill at the State House that would create a local seat on the board that oversees the T's finances and operations. No, there's absolutely no checks and balances right now. Certainly with the challenges that we face with the growing city in Boston, uh, single largest payer into the T, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of reasons why we should have a seat on the board. As for those fare hikes, still slated to take effect a little more than a week away. Walsh was among those pushing for a delay. There's no reason why they can't hold it. And supporting the pay increase, that means better service. People are willing to pay, and I know that people are willing to pay higher gas prices if there's more reliable transit service. But clearly, we're not there yet. And Tina Martin tells us riders are fed up. Myra Powell travels on the JFK train every morning to get to work. I start in North Quincy, I come to JFK, and I end up in Brookline on the Green Line. This is where she was when the red line derailed. Last week was just total chaos. A week later, the red line's running again, but service is so slow, she's added an hour to her commute. And starting July 1st, like every other T-Rider, she's going to have to pay more. Price hike we don't need, service is not that great, and it's been a crazy few days here. She's not the only one. They can't spend the budget it has now, so if they're going to raise fares, I'm trying to understand what the equation is. Commuter after commuter. They have a lot of nerve. Why? Because... A service like this, why should they raise prices? Told us the fare increase is unfair. It does make sense to think about how fares can be a part of the funding solution. Transportation advocate Chris Dempsey says improvements to the T take money, but commuters should expect and get better service. In the context of today's MBTA, it's also very fair for some of our elected officials to say, wait a minute, let's put a pause on that and let's make sure that service is going to get better before we ask people to pay more. Last week's derailment was the second in a month. On June 8th, a Green Line train derailed near Kenmore Square. The MBTA has had more derailments than any other organization in the entire country other than one over the last five years, more than 40 derailments. Dempsey suggests there are ways to improve service right now that don't cost money. Things like improving the communication between the system and customers about what's happening, why delays are happening. Myra Powell says better communication couldn't hurt at a time when getting to work is harder than ever. Most of the time I'm late and my boss doesn't like that all the time. Since the T is her only form of transportation, she has to deal with the inconvenience and pay the fare increase next month. Tina Martin, WGBH News. This afternoon, State Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack released a statement on the fare hikes, saying she understands that riders are frustrated, but, quote, while I'm sympathetic to that, I think the fare increase is the wrong target for that frustration. We need to fix service, make sure people are and feel safe, and have confidence in the team.